Hello friends, I have a scenario where I need to create thousands of stock items in Tally. So in this video, I would be demonstrating how you can create those items without using any software or VBA macros. So I would be using purely Excel formulas. So let's see. As you can see, I have an Excel file with uh, almost 1300 plus items. Okay. And let me go to the Tally and show you okay so if i go to my charts of account and stock items so you would find only one stock item being created okay and the remaining 1300 plus stock items so i want to create this okay so our target and i have stock group by name laptop okay let me come back and my stock item name would be my id because let's assume that our e-commerce site is referencing product by id because again you can see product name are not same like macbook pro so macbook pro you get in various sizes various model with different amount of ram hard disk so this is a multi-dimensional data okay so description would be too long if we try to squeeze this whole name so i'm creating the stock item by name id okay so one of the stock item has been created first one dg kit remaining i need to create it so let's see how you can create it okay so we are an excel template for that so no macros are there in this template okay so this template so we'll be sending xml to the tally to create stock items okay now this excel template has three portion header data and footer data we will be populating okay so name is the name of the stock item so let me copy paste so first item i am having remaining let's copy this and paste it here parent means group name stock group name so it is laptop in our case so i would not be creating another subgroup by brand name like apple hp dell okay so i would be creating all the stock item in one okay so parent is laptop it is stock item group unit of measurement okay so our unit of measurement is pcs pcs okay. pcs already written let me copy paste that okay and let me tell you all these fields are optional except for name remaining fill are, fields are optional but it's better if you can fill them now again if they are not gst goods then no question of filling this and in my case uh, i don't have any opening quantity or opening value opening quantity okay so because let's assume that company just created so we don't have any stock because we would be purchasing it okay and i would be filling the gst details like these are goods so you would find drop down good service so these are the same drop down which you get in tally okay and i would be entering first or initial gst rates so gst applicable so this should be my company formation rate now unfortunately this excel template doesn't support entering of multiple uh, gst with effective rates for single items okay we at the time we can enter only one hsn code and gst rate for a single item okay so i would be copy pasting this value okay so let let's copy paste this values control d okay remaining field will keep blank so just if you want to verify that uh, quantity is it supported or not so let me put some dummy quantity for any of the products so let's say for this 50k 33a uh, I, I enter the quantity let's say 15 and let's say the laptop value is of 1 lakh so 15 lakhs okay okay now carefully you need to copy paste this xml cell value till the last so i will double click here so that it copy paste because this is the real xml which is doing this importing okay now our uh, xml our template is ready now let's get to the work so we'll create an xml file to be imported into the tally so i will open notepad so you can also open normal windows notepad okay 
and first we need to copy header okay so select this header copy it okay next we'll go to the data sheet and we'll have to copy the xml so i will select this control shift down control c copy it and control v paste so header is also copied now next one is footer copy again paste okay now our xml file is ready so let's save this control s and remem please remember one thing since this is an xml file so you need so uh, let's say so you need to enclose this file name into double quotes because we are we don't want txt as extension okay so let's say our file is stock item dot xml okay stock item dot xml so just ensure that you write this file name in double quotes if you are using windows notepad okay default not so i will save this okay i already had one the file so it gave me replace okay now let's import this so i will go to tally so as you can see we had only one stock item now after the importing we should be able to see how many let me count 1302 1302 stock items been created okay so i will go to tally okay import master and from here you need to set tally's path okay okay so just go to this d drive wherever your tally is okay and from here stock item dot xml and i would say modify with the new data so that if any of the stock item is already there it would be modified with the newer details so let's press enter and check okay the stock items have been imported so let's check so i will go to again chart of accounts and stock items okay so friends you can see 1303 that means 1302 plus one stock item which we had already created okay and we can also see details all these details okay let's verify whether this quantity was also imported or not 50k33a okay so let's check this stock item okay 503k33a okay you can see even quantity details and let's even check if gst hsn code and rates are there so more detail i will see okay taxable and you can even see this hsn codes and gst rates being imported so friends i hope this was very simple so please give this try and if you want to know that how uh, what is it thing which is doing magic so the real magic is done by that xml formula so just check it it is creating an xml to be sent to the tally okay and so if you like this technique please do like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel